This is Julius Maricela and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to the Turtle Door. Good evening London. Good evening Tower Bridge. Good morning guys, we are here in uh, Victoria Station at the moment and we are going to the Tower Bridge, so please join me. Basically, the uh, Tower Hill is nine uh, stations from Victoria Station. So we are two stations more. This is
we're here. There are new rulings now, so let's go on top. And that is the Tower of London. We'll get closer there later. Let's get closer on this monument so we'll, we'll know what's the history behind this. It's actually a clock, guys. It's very nice. Charles executed 1665 Great Plague 100,000 Paris Okay guys, we're here now, so let's get closer. These relics is actually a part of uh, the Tower of London and they preserved it. So this is what it says. It's written in German. I wonder why it's written in German. Let's continue our journey guys. We are here in Tower of London and I'm going to share with you the beautiful history. You could see the grass, landscape grass behind me but that was actually water before during uh, medieval times when Tower of London was still very operational. So guys, let me show you around. The Tower of London is mighty fortress, a royal palace, infamous prison. When William the Conqueror built a mighty stone tower at the center of his London fortress, in the 1070s, defeated Londoners must have looked on in awe. Now, nearly 1,000 years later, the tower still has the capacity to fascinate and horrify. As protector of the crown jewels, 
home of the human waters and its legendary guardians, the pampered ravens. The tower now attracts over 3 million visitors a year. Here, the ceremony of the keys and other traditions live on, as do the ghost stories and terrible tales of torture and execution. But the tower also has a richer and more complex history, having been home to a wide array of institutions, including the Royal Mint, the Royal Armories, and even a zoo. As most secure castle in the land, the tower guarded royal possessions and even the royal family in times of war and rebellion. But for 500 years, monarchs also used the tower as a surprisingly luxurious palace. Throughout history, the tower has also been visible, symbol of awe and fear. Kings and queens imprisoned their rivals and enemies within its walls. The stories of prisoners, rich and poor, still haunt the tower. In 1070s, William Conqueror, fresh from his victory but nervous of rebellion, began to build a massive stone fortress in London to defend and proclaim his royal power. Nothing like it that even been seen in England before. William intended his mighty castle keep not only to dominate the skyline, but also the hearts and minds of the defeated Londoners. The tower took around 20 years to build. Masons arrived from Normandy, bringing with them stone from Caen in France. Most of the actual labor was provided by English men. Throughout history, the tower has been adapted and developed to defend and control the nations. Henry III and Edward I expanded William's fortress, adding huge curtain walls with a series of smaller towers and enlarging the moat. They also transformed the tower into England's largest and strongest concentric castle, with one ring of defenses inside another. Inside the medieval kings built magnificent royal lodgings. Kings and queens used the tower in times of trouble to protect their possessions and themselves. Arms and armor were made, tested and stored here until the 1800s. The tower also controlled the supply of the nation's money. All coins of the realm was made at the tower mint from the reign of Edward I until 1810. Kings and queens also locked away their valuables and jewels at the tower and even today the crown jewels are protected by a garrison of soldiers so guys welcome to the tower of london the tower of london is just uh, very close to the tower bridge so basically if you're going to visit here you will be uh, visiting the tower of london as well the Tower of London is very historical and you will see the beautiful jewels of the monarchs from the medieval era until the uh, recent days you will see the beautiful preservations of the uh, jewels and crowns you will see it here in Tower of London and if you go inside it's really worth visiting it's a little bit expensive but you know please if you have time during your visit here please have time to visit the Tower of London go inside it's really very nice cheers did you know that the towers defenses failed once during the peasants revolt of 1381 rebels ran and through the open gates the tower of london has also been infamous settings henry vi was murdered here in 1471 and later the children of his great rival edward iv the princess and the tower vanished within its walls in 1483 and in 1674 two skeletons were unearthed at the tower the bones were re-examined in 1933 and proved to be those two boys aged about 12 and 10, exactly the same ages as the princess when they disappeared. The famous Yeoman Warders, recognized as symbols of the tower all over the world, have been here for centuries. They were originally part of the Yeoman of the Guard, 
the monarch's personal bodyguard who traveled with him. Henry VIII decreed that some of them would stay and guard the tower permanently. Today, the human warders or the beef eater guards the visitors but still carry out ceremonial duties such as unlocking and locking the tower every day in the ceremony of the keys. They wear the red state dress uniforms for important occasions at the tower and also for special events such as the firing of the huge cannon on the wharf known as the gun salutes. The medieval kings and queens lived in luxurious apartments at the tower. They worshipped in the Chapel Royal, kept menagerie of exotic animals, which lasted until the 19th century, and welcomed foreign rulers to Westminster Abbey. Three years later, Anne was back at the tower, this time accused of adultery and treason. She was held in the same luxurious lodgings before executed by sword on Tower Green. For over 800 years, men and women have arrived at the tower, uncertain of their fate. Some stayed for only a few days and other many years. During the Tudor age, the tower became the most important state prison in the country. Anyone thought to be a threat to the national security came here. The future Elizabeth I, Lady Jane Grey, Sir Walter Raleigh, and Guy Fawkes were all sent to the tower. Even in the 20th century, the German spies were brought here and shot. The Chapel Royal of St. Peter at Vincula is perhaps best known as being the burial place of some of the most famous tower prisoners. This includes three queens of England, Anne Boleyn, Catherine Howard, and Jane Grey, all of whom were executed within the tower in the 16th century, Henry VIII's wives were accused of adultery and treason. Lady Jane Grey was an unfortunate pawn in a plot to replace Mary I and was executed for high treason in 1554, aged only 17. After their execution, the headless bodies of the queens were buried quickly and carelessly under the chapel without any memorial. In 1876, when the chapel was restored, the remains unearthed and the chancel, including those of Anne Boleyn, were reburied beneath a marble pavement inscribed with their names and coats of arms. The tower has been a visitor attraction since 18th century, but numbers of tourists increased dramatically in 1800s. Visitors were fascinated by the stories of England's turbulent and sometimes gruesome history. The stories of ghosts haunts the tower. Anne Boleyn is said to stalk the site of her execution on Tower Green. Arbelia Stewart, the cousin of Elizabeth I, who starved while under arrest for marrying without royal permission, is said to frequent the Queen's house still. Two smaller ghosts are thought to be the princess and the tower, and the human warders even tell a chilling tale of a huge bear who occasionally appears to frighten visitors to death. One of the most legends of the tower surrounds the ravens. The story goes that should the ravens leave the tower, both it and the kingdom will fall. Seven ravens live at the tower today and are cared for by a dedicated human warder known as the Raven Master. These highly intelligent birds have one flight feather trimmed to stop them flying away. Today, the Tower of London is still one of the most world's leading tourist attraction and a world heritage site, attracting visitors from all over the world. And when the gates are locked, and all the visitors have gone, the tower embraces a thriving community within its walls. The Tower of London is still home to the human warders and their families, the resident governor, a garrison of soldiers. There is a doctor and a chaplain, and there is even a pub.
this is the uh, most beautiful experience when you visit uh, London or the United Kingdom or the Great Britain because they have rich of history and when you come here as if you entered their time during the medieval era it's really amazing I've been here for a long time already and I am still amazed every time I tour a friend or I tour a family because even myself I, I am still amazed for the experience for the beautiful places that has been preserved all this time for new generations to witness it so guys let's preserve the environment to have a happy generations a happy future generations cheers if you want to visit the tower of london this is the entrance of the tower if you want to come here you should not rush yourself so you have to enjoy the place I think we'll visit Paul to have some uh, breakfast. Ah, uh, here, please. All right. When you're starving, you can't help it but eat. And this will be a long day because we will be visiting the tower bridge and we are just here in um, Tower of London I could see the tower bridge already but I don't want to show it to you I want to show it differently it's really nice when you do some documentation like this to document the place and um, you learn as well. You learn the uh, history at the same time. And also, as you do your blog, you enjoy your uh, editing. The editing part of it is enjoyable. You become an actor of your own uh, channel. If this is your passion, and go for it. Or whatever you do, your skill or talent, it to the world the sun is coming up so good the hot chocolate is very good you visit Paul when you are in uh, Tower Bridge I love their sandwiches. Guys, your hot chocolate is amazing. It's good? Yes, yeah. really amazing. Thank you. When you love the food, always thank the chef. All right? Cheers. And now, guys, from the Tower of London to the Tower Bridge. Let's go. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more videos.